The governor of Adamawa State, Amadu Marufin Tiri, has imposed a 24-hour curfew on Yola, the state capital. This was disclosed by his chief press secretary, Mr. Humwashi Wonosiku, in a statement over the civil unrest witnessed in the state capital. According to him, the curfew was imposed following the activities of hoodlums who attacked people with machetes and raided warehouses belonging to private organizations and breaking into homes and carting away property. With a declaration of a curfew, only those on essential duties with valid identification are permitted to move around during the period of the curfew. Governor Fenturi is also appealing to citizens and residents of the state to comply with this directive, adding that any person found contravening this order will be arrested for later phase. Two, three. Some hotlooms have gone down to vandalize and loot some government and private warehouses that is located within the state capital. Uh, there and then the commissioner of police now raised uh, the operational asset of the command and deployed them to go down to the ladder and prevent them from going ahead to vandalize and possibly loot the, the warehouses. So all of a sudden, uh, that instruction has been carried out. And as I'm talking to you now, 25 male suspects were apprehended and some items that were looted from the warehouses. This is what. Secondly, the command have succeeded in preventing them from going beyond the first uh, warehouse that was attacked. Uh, the one belonging to the NEMA was the first one that was attacked, but the command have succeeded in preventing them from attacking the, the one that is located at Numan Road, belonging to Ministry of uh, Agriculture. Uh, virtually another deployment were equally met to cover all the private shops and the private warehouses within the state capital. There and then the state government uh, declared two four hours coffee. That is to checkmate the criminal activities. Uh, what happened today is a high level of criminality. Because uh, you could see there are some people that are there who have been arrested. They enter with cutlasses, some with matches, and dangerous weapons. So it's a high level of criminality. And you can see, you see the four warehouses. They are all unlooted. If I vandalize them, you look at the, the building, not even through the main gates or main door. They even have to push, uh, destroy the wall to find themselves in. You can see that. A lot of items, both food and non-food items, have been cut it away. And looking at uh, our vehicles, our vehicles have been vandalized.